So what I'm going to do instead is make this part a V shape rather than a flat shape. And the advantage there is that it will allow me to have separate pieces of hardware for the shock bolts and it will drop that bottom part of the A arm at that bottom of that V, which is a more traditional shape. And the reason I'm doing that rather than just pushing the shock mounts up is because you want the shock mount to be at or below the pivot point line between the bushings on the inboard side and the spherical bearing on the hub side. And so the way to do that is to add this V-shaped kick down on the A-arm. And this is a design that I've seen all over the place. So I just need to make that simple V-shape with the kick down, make sure all my bolt holes line up because there's a lot of them. And then copy that same process over to the big side of the A-arm. So for these shock mounts, what I do is I use one sketch to make the main boss, which you can see here. So the clearance hole and the exterior dimensions of that boss. And then I do a mid-plane extrude. And then using that same sketch, I can do a cut feature on that same plane. So I ended up with four bosses here with, without having to make four separate planes. I only had to make two reference planes and then share sketches across multiple features, which is kind of a cool trick that you can do in SolidWorks. So I didn't go through the whole process of doing design for machining on this yet. I want to beautify this part a little bit because it's going to be really prominent on the front of the vehicle and I want it to look as cool as possible, especially since I'm using billet. I don't want it to look like a big boxy thing. I want it to look stylized in a certain sense and cut away all those sharp corners for the purpose of strength and make it look like more of a piece of billet art than just a functional placeholder like it looks right now. So now I just need to drop some hardware in and we're looking good.